is paid zero saved from trash cleaning out an estate just sold for $64.99. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about unexpected and big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items as a reseller that hopefully you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. This is my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. I hope you'll come join if you're not already in it. There is a link tree down below. You can click on that, and it will take you over to the Facebook group. I will have up share your best july bolo so come on over and share a bolo and i will feature it in a video like this everyone is welcome to participate this here is a williamsburg leather spots coasters three trivets set of six and this is probably one that you would walk past so this is a good one that just says always look things up right easy to find easy to list cheap picked up for a dollar at a yard sale had a feeling they might be worth a little something sold in two days fast sale 25 dollars. this is doughboys treasures so a bolo is different for everyone a bolo is an item to be on the lookout for a fast sale can be a bolo something you buy cheap and sell for big money if i can get something for 50 cents and sell it for 35 dollars, that's a bolo to me um quick sales especially i love a quick sale so Lots and lots of different things you're going to see in this video. The next one here is a Lego Bionicle Boxer Vehicle. No box or manual. So this is just a loose toy. Um, the hard thing about building items like this is are all the parts there? So you got to take really good pictures. So if it's a collector, they're probably going to know. Uh, got a whole bunch of toys from the 80s and 90s for $40. A whole bunch of Legos were included. I put together and have sold several of these Bionicles for $40, $50, and $60. This one is the highest. It looks like it sold for 65. Now, I also got a bunch of Bionicles once. And if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that I have sold these as well. And the ones I got, most of them were already put together because they are tricky. Uh, so I just had to look at pictures and then sell them as is. But yes, some of the Bionicles can be big money. This one is from uh, 2002. So the older ones, discontinued, harder to find. I mean, people lose the pieces. So getting one that's complete, it's a little difficult. And you can sell them for big money. So be on the lookout. There are a lot of bread and butter also. Gorin Bros, the Farm Hat Queen B Patent Leather Trucker Cap Mesh. And it says, see description. So this is what it looks like. Found this hat at the Goodwill for $2. Had a small blemish or what I would have list, or I would have listed it higher according to comps. Took three or four months, but it sold for $45. Looks like it has the original tag, but did have a mark on it. So just disclose it and include photos and you're good to go. People will buy things that are damaged, missing parts, incomplete. Uh, I sell stuff all the time and people are like, oh my goodness. I had somebody mention, um, I think it was in one of the Facebook posts, that because I talk about selling things that are broken. They listed a broken item and it sold. So it, it does work, guys. Battery compartments of toys that I get. If the toy doesn't work, you can sell the battery compartment. People are looking for it. I have taken apart dollhouses, play sets, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets. Take them apart, part them out. It is more work, but you can make more money doing it that way. Panasonic, uh, this is a five disc DVD changer. This is also D Doughboy's Treasures. Found at the Goodwill for six. One of my favorite things to sell, even though they're hit and miss. No remote, both sides worked. Took 10 days, but sold for full asking price, $75. All right, so here's my question. For me personally, I do not want to ship something like this. I do not want to test something like this, but I have seen people sell things like this for three, four, five hundred dollars So Definitely something to be on the lookout for if you don't mind testing the electronics. Uh, some of these can go for crazy money. So definitely be on the lookout and don't be a chicken like me. <laughs> All right. In the comments, tell me something you should sell, but you don't like to sell. Another thing I'm not a big fan of is breakables. Yuck. So um, tell me down below what uh, your 
least favorite thing to sell is that you know you should be sourcing. This is another one I wouldn't want to sell because I wouldn't want to ship it. Ah, golf clubs, Callaway times two, uh, hot six hybrid, right hand used golf club. Plus, uh, I don't know anything about golf clubs. I'd be buying something and it'd probably have a sell through rate that's awful and sell for five dollars. Got a mixed match set of Callaway golf clubs in a bag for 25 at the Goodwill. This is the third or fourth club I've sold from the lot and it sold for 50. So what he did here is he bought a set and then he parted it out, part it out. Just like what I was talking about with the dollhouse. I broke it down into parts and made more money that way. This is a vintage Y2K Echo hood hoodie graffiti reversible AOP spell out. Here is, oh, looky there. It is reversible. Well, that's fancy. Bought for $2 at a yard sale in California and sold it for $113.17. And Y2K is an awesome uh, thing to put in your title if you know that it came from that time frame. Love, love, love this one. Are you guys ready? I found these four boxes of discontinued shaving soap priced at a dollar a piece at my local thrift. Lotted them up and listed for 95 plus shipping. They sold for full asking price plus shipping in under a month. eBay store goat head resale. And look at that. Is that fabulous? I love it. Yeah, guys, don't leave it on the table. Don't leave it on the table. Got to look those things up. It's crazy. All right. Pristine Ethan Allen Royal Charter Oak collection nightstand bought from a co-worker for 50 and just sold it on ebay for 449 dollars 99 plus 180 shipping there you go all right the next item is this i bought these beautiful bed spreads at a garage sale for five dollars each put them up on ebay auction starting at 100 no one bids seven days later Put them at buy now for $245 and got an offer for $200. It is a set of two Sears uh, Bellissimo Collection Italy fringed bread bedspreads, vintage. So that is always my recommendation. If you cannot find anything else like it, try an auction. Try a high higher auction. She did $100. Um, and then it didn't sell. So she did a buy it now $245 and sold it for $200. So always test the auction. Um, I probably would have tested the auction a little higher because she did the buy it now at 245. So when I do my auction, I think about if I were to list this at a buy it now, what would I put it at and what would I be happy with? So um, maybe starting it at 200, but she lucked out. Nobody bid at 100 and then she listed it for 245 and got 200. So that is absolutely fabulous. So she's probably really happy no one bought it, right? The next one here is this rare next play glitz and glitter CD player and radio. Everyone knows that. I don't know what everyone knows that means. Is that like what it's called? Huh? Found this pink boom box at the Goodwill for $11. I usually don't look for electronics, but this one caught my eye. The hot pink color and big jewel buttons instantly stood out as something that my friends and I would have listened to while getting ready back in high school. Knowing that Y2K 2000s is popular now, I decided to look it up and I'm glad I did. It turns out this specific radio was somewhat has somewhat of a cult following due to a certain subreddit. I don't know what that means. I had it listed for 375 but took an offer of 300 that night. Yes, I know I could have held out longer but we're going on vacation next month and I'd rather just have the money in hand. Sold it for $300, 300. Wow. That is awesome. All right, guys, look for that big hot pink uh, boom box. <laughs> All right, Bolo buddies. Now Nina's Jewels is gonna share a Bolo with us called this is my bolo and if you guys want to share a bolo in a 60 second video like this just send it to me on facebook or instagram messenger and i will feature it in one of my videos all right let's get started hi i'm wendy and this is my bolo we recently got this forgotten realms road to the patriarch paperback book at an estate sale for a dollar and fifty cents 
and sold it very quickly for $29.99. And we've sold several books from the Forgotten Realms collection over the years, and a lot of them have really high value and really great sell-through rate. So it is definitely something to be on the lookout for. Not all of them have super high values. Some of the newer ones do not sell as well as the older ones, but the one that we recently sold, Road to the Patriarch, was a newer book. So if you see any that say Forgotten Realms and say fantasy on the spine, they are definitely worth scanning and looking into. You can find Nina's Jewels on YouTube at Nina's Jewels. We're also on Facebook and Instagram at Nina's Jewels LLC. And we're on Whatnot at Nina's Jewels. Thanks again, and we will catch you guys on the flip side. The next one is this Canon Power Shot digital camera. She said, I found out that cameras are great pickups at yard sales, especially compact digital cameras. I picked up both of these at a garage sale for $9 each. Both sold within hours of listing for a great profit. I always test and try to keep a battery on hand as well. Thank you, Courtney, for the continual education you provide us with and all the great videos. Eat, pray, thrift on Mercari, eBay, and Etsy. So this one sold for 160 See, again, I don't want to test the things. Ah! And this one sold for 80 Wow. And she said they sold really fast. Do you guys feel like you walk past these? I kind of feel like I walk past these. The next item is this um, Aiden and Anna, Anna is, Anna, I don't know how to say it. Anyway, it is a lovey blanket. She said, purchase local church thrift store in a baby toy bag, two to three-ish, listed for $149.99 and took a best offer of 100 and sold within one month. Trios, treasures. Looky there. So I think they make um baby blankets too right doesn't this brand make baby like the um baby blankets i feel like i've seen those in videos as well i don't know that they're a bolo but this one definitely is a bolo that's incredible rare hard to find nfl kansas city chiefs kc wolf mascot head fanimals with the original tag while looking through the plush bin at my local Salvation Army, I came across this mascot head for Kansas City Chiefs. It still had the original tag. They sold it to me for 67 cents and it sold on eBay auction for 161 plus shipping. 67 cents. Where's your thrift store? What? That's fabulous. The next one is paid zero saved from trash cleaning out an estate just sold for $64.99 soft soap dispenser with parrot inside okay I just want to say is this not the strangest bolo you have ever seen it's trash it's somebody's trash this is an empty soap dispenser but this parrot is connected to it and that is probably what everybody collects how rad is that? So definitely be on the lookout for any soft soap that has an animal on the inside. Maybe others are bolos too. Love that one. All right, you guys, what do you think about that? Is that last one just knock your socks off shocking? I mean, I want to find one now, don't you? Don't you? I don't, I'll, I don't even have to find it in the trash. I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll go over to the Facebook group and share your best bolo screenshot. You can put the item number. You can also share the link, whichever is easiest for you. But please make sure that you shout out your social media. If you have it, YouTube channels, if you sell on whatnot, if you sell um, on the platforms and you want to share your name on those platforms, I will definitely mention it in a video and maybe you'll get some new people to follow and come possibly buy from you. All right. Thank you so much again. And thanks for watching.